So before I close up on extension methods, I just want to talk about a few caveats. Um, one, extension methods are just normal static methods. They cannot access any private or protected data members of the type that you're extending. All right. You notice in the last video I had to make this num moves public in order to get this example to still work. I mean, this class, cow methods, cannot see the private members of cow. All right. So <clears throat> there's one little rule. Uh, another rule is uh, not rule, but thing to think about is extension methods. You could probably go crazy, and instead of using inheritance, you could add zillions and zillions of extension methods, and and you could do that. You know, and I, I tend to use extension methods here and there. They're they're a small tool in the toolbox. I think the real power comes in link, which you'll see in some future videos. But basically, link uses extension methods rather heavily. <clears throat> and let me let me just give you a little uh, teaser or preview. Let me. Get rid, of, get rid of all this. And uh, if I go um, system dot link dot enumerable, enumerable is simply a static class that has a ton of extension methods, and all the extension methods extend enumerable. Okay, and we'll explore all these in future videos and, and what this means and stuff. But if you like all these tons of methods, I don't know why this one's open, but tons of methods uh, based on the enumerable uh, argument here, okay? So, why is that cool? Well, if you look at enumerable, I hit F12, I put my cursor there and hit F12. The enumerable interface really only has one method, a get enumerator. Right? And if you're not familiar with enumerating and get enumerator, go, go look at those videos. Um, but essentially, there's, there's one method, that's nice. One method means low coupling, extremely low coupling. Okay, I don't have to, the implementer of this interface doesn't have to implement a zillion methods, and the consumer of this interface can't really call all these methods tons and tons of different methods doing various things. It's just one method, get enumerator. We're only connected by that one little strand between the consumer and the implementer of IA enumerable. Okay? Um, but there's, there's many cases where it makes sense, as you'll see with Link, to have lots of extra methods. But those extra methods are just out here. All right, and these methods are able to do their job relying on the one get enumerator method inside of I enumerable. So each of these methods don't don't do not need anything extra. So the implementer is not bound to implement average or any or all or I don't know, there's a bunch of them first, select where, all the min max, those kind of things. If I implement I enumerable and the only method I implement is get enumerator, the extension methods using that one get numerator method can figure out their part of their job. So as a consumer of a class, I like more. When I'm consuming something that implements I enumerable, I need as much functionality as possible. And these extension methods allow me to do that. Okay? So it's kinda like it's really nice that these extension methods are are kind of a go between. It's, it's it's a compromise between the implementer who only wants to implement one, two, maybe three methods, and the consumer who wants tons and tons and tons of different options. Anyway, so some things to think about with extension methods. We're quickly moving on to link, and you'll see their true power, at least in the link setting. They're, they weren't added specifically for link, but they were added at the same time as link, and link needed the extension methods for for all the power that it has, but you can use extension methods for whatever you can think of for for their use. But as all things, it's another tool in your toolbox, and sh be sure to use it appropriately and where it makes sense. Don't just go and abuse, abuse the privilege now that you know what an, an extension method is, does, and behaves.